I would like to start um, by some thoughts on uh, the work of your board of directors in 2016. These are exciting days for all of us at Laurentian Bank as we take up the challenges of both reshaping the bank and extending our presence across Canada. The board carefully plans its work in order to fulfill its primary responsibility, which is to grow profitably the bank for its shareholder, customer, and employees. To achieve this overarching goal, we work closely with the executive team during the first year of the bank's transformation. During 2016, this meant that at every meeting, the board conducted a detailed review of the critical initiatives essential to the success of the strategic plan. Seeking balance between performance objectives and acceptable risks risk levels, the board reviewed and approved a new risk appetite framework. This management tool is aligned with the transformation plan and takes into account the new strategic orientations and regulatory requirements. The board is satisfied, very satisfied I must say, with the progress made in recent months by the executive team under the leadership of our CEO, Francois Desjardins. The team is aligned and clearly embraces both the challenges and the opportunities in the strategic transformation that we have begun. Accordingly, in 2016, the board reviewed and made some adjustment to the compensation policy. We adopted a special executive incentive program for the senior management team to support the bank's transformation and growth plan. We believe that this new program, entirely linked to performance, aligns the interests of executives with those of shareholders. Throughout the years, the Board of Directors has taken proactive steps to ensure that the best governance practices were implemented. We set ourselves annual improvement objectives in this area in accordance with the evolution of our industry, of the interests and expectation of the bank's diverse stakeholders. Among the, among the new corporate guideline initiatives they, that were implemented in 2016, the Board of Directors adopted a new governance policy. We have listened to our shareholders and to other interested parties. We have drawn from best practices and have developed a new governance policy. The new policy provides shareholders and other stakeholders with a clear vision of the bank's position and action on key governance subjects. The Board of Directors also established clear guidelines with respect to directors' tenure. Ensuring diversity in the composition of the Board of Directors is also key to its performance. The Board formalized its commitment towards diversity and adopted a policy which clearly defines our approach to director diversity as well as laying out other criteria to appoint directors. Over the past 10 years, the board, the bank has appointed 10 new independent members, thus demonstrating continuous renewal and the effectiveness of its review practice. Two directors completed their term this year. Ms. Jacqueline Orange is leaving after nine years of valuable service. Her contribution, notably to the audit committee, was outstanding and greatly appreciated by the executive team and the board. Also, Mr. Jonathan Winner, has decided not to seek a new term. A member of the bank board for 19 years, Mr. Winner will now become Director Emeritus. I'm pleased to say the board will continue to benefit from his expertise, especially in the area of real estate management. On behalf of the board of directors, I would like to thank Ms. Orange and Mr. Winner for their years of dedicated services as directors. I'm also pleased to introduce today two new directors who were nominated to the board during the course of the past year and are proposed today for election. Very well known in the Canadian banking and wealth management sectors, Ms. Sonia Baxendale joined the board of directors on August 31st. She worked as a senior executive at CIBC for two decades. When she left CIBC in 2011, she was president of retail banking and wealth management. The board also welcomed Mr. Gordon Campbell as a new director at the beginning of December. We will benefit from his extensive experience and unique perspective developed during his political and diplomatic career. 
In the, in the last year, we determined that 11 directors is an ideal number to foster the optimal performance of the board. It is therefore 11 candidates that are standing for election today. The board members are fully aware of the transformation currently reshaping the financial industry, not only in Canada, but also around the world. We will continue to closely monitor the evolution of the transformation and growth plan in this evolving context. The board fully supports the strategy in place as it meets our customer needs in the area of financial management. The board also intends to remain open to the management team recommendations to change the course if need be while ensuring we take advantage of growth opportunities. On behalf of the members of the board of directors, I would like to commend the work of the management team. They are a talented and engaged team with a sharp focus on results. I also want to thank our employees whose dedica dedicated work helps our clients improve their financial health. Finally, I want to express my sincere appreciation to our shareholders, to our clients for their loyalty and trust which they demonstrate toward the bank. <laughs>